Are you a digital designer that is ready to level up your career? You're ready to start leading meetings. You want to become a director. You maybe want to have your own social media, speak at conferences. Like you are ready to level it up, but you might have a little bit of a speaking fear. I want to help you overcome your speaking fear and gain authentic speaking confidence. I'll take you through my four-step process that helps my clients gain authentic speaking confidence and overcome their speaking fear. Just like I helped Kiana get a promotion at work within just a few months of working together or how I helped Chella double her salary. She gained speaking confidence and she got a new job. I'm Elise and I've gone from being a waitress to a UX director within one year in 2015. I became a co-founder of a UX agency and I became an educator and a speaker for Adobe. I've hosted over 250 online events over the last few years. And I've worked with brands like Shopify, with Cisco, Adobe, General Assembly, Career Foundry, and more. I created this authentic speaking confidence method after I was having larger audiences with bigger brands. I had more and more fear, doubt, and anxiety. Like I was like, why isn't this lessening? Why is this feeling more intensive? So if you are also feeling this speaking fear and anxiety and doubt, even though you've been designing for a while, even though you have been presenting for a while, you still are feeling it or maybe even feeling it more intensely, you are not alone. So I created this process and I've been using it with clients to help them overcome their fear and start to come into their authentic confidence. Here's my process. Number one is to discover your speaking blocker. Oftentimes there is something that is preventing you from feeling confident in yourself. It's something inside from maybe your past. It could be a teacher, a bullying situation at school, a friend or family member saying something to you, and you are stuck still in that place. Or it's a societal and media challenge. We have seen in media that there is a certain type of person that is allowed to have attention, that is allowed to feel confident, right? Maybe there's a white older businessman that we're like, oh, that's who should be the alpha in the room. I don't deserve to be confident when I'm speaking, right? So we have to figure out what is that blocker that is specific to you that is preventing you from feeling good in yourself. Number two is to reprogram your mind. Do you have thoughts that are making you feel confident in yourself? Or do you have thoughts like, no one likes what I'm saying. I don't sound smart. Oh my God, I made a mistake. Everyone's looking at me. Everyone's judging me. No one thinks that I'm credible, right? What are your thoughts saying to you? Because that's going to tell you whether or not they are working for you or against you. We have to reprogram the mind so that it is working towards your values, towards your goals of what you truly desire. Number three is creating a loving rejection ritual. When we're in front of others, what we're really afraid of is getting judged. We are afraid of people rejecting us. We don't want to put ourselves out there. So instead, what we do is we create a loving rejection ritual so you can deal with anything that is thrown your way. You can deal with mess ups. You can deal with someone saying, no, you don't get the job. You can deal with someone saying, hey, did you make a mistake there? You can deal with anything that comes your way because you have a loving ritual for yourself. You are still going to love and care for yourself no matter what happens, because usually our worst enemy is ourselves. And if we can make ourselves become our greatest asset, then you are unstoppable. Number four is having an authentic speaking blueprint. Oftentimes when we are in work settings, we think we need to be really prim and proper and we cannot show any personality. If you want to start leveling up your career, you want to start having people notice you, you have to start standing out. And the thing that's going to help you stand out isn't just like, oh, she's such a good worker. No. It's going to be your personality, your unique qualities, your unique strengths and values that help you stand out when you're speaking. So what are you waiting for? Get on that call. Get on that discovery call with me. Set it all up. Let's talk. Let's chat and talk about how we can get you to your goals.